guys asked for closet organization, so that's exactly what I'm going to give you. Look at this crazy disaster. I have been wanting to redo my closet for so long, and now is the perfect time. Clearly, this space needed a complete makeover, but I'm working on a budget, so we headed over to Ikea. I wanted the pack system, but it's super expensive, so I found these Billy bookcases, which are way more affordable. I purchased one large billy and two smaller ones to create my own pack system that's going to fit perfectly on the back wall. Once we got home, I got straight to work by removing everything from the closet. Then I wanted to take off the metal shelves from the walls. This was a lot of work. I definitely underestimated it. Then me and my mom hauled all of the bookcases up and my mom was so gracious and helped me put them together. I tried a drill and screwdriver and those were taking me forever. So I decided to hammer them off, which I know is not the right way to do it, but it worked since the whole wall is going to be covered anyways. And I did spackle to cover up the holes. There is a ton of work left to be done as you can tell. So like and follow for part two. Here's part two of my closet organization. My mom has put together so many Billy bookcases over the years. I think she's at 10 now, so she's basically a professional. Once we got them all done, we put them in the closet. I asked my dad to come over to install them to the wall, and I got to painting. I painted the closet white because I wanted it to look really bright when you walked in. I clearly missed the wall. <laughs> I decided that the back left wall needed something, so I got this peel and stick removable wallpaper. It's really pretty, and you can get it at Target. It is $34, so it's kind of expensive. I didn't love that part of it but i think it looked really nice once it was all done i then thought it would be super cool to diy our own industrial clothing rods using pvc pipe i took my dad and he knew all of the necessary parts to get we were originally going to go with metal but these ones were so much cheaper and we're going to spray paint them gold so they'll look really nice this is the progress we have so far it's coming together so don't forget to like for part three Welcome to part three of my closet makeover. I'm gonna show you guys how I took this crazy disaster and turned it into this beautiful space using budget-friendly products. When working with a small space, you wanna come up with creative solutions to make as much storage as possible while also hiding clutter. So we got these attachable doors to the Billy bookcases and added them on. We also got a shelf for the right wall. That way I can put baskets on top and fill them with whatever I want. Everything I've mentioned so far has been from Ikea, and honestly, I've saved so much money because pack systems can run you anywhere from $500 to $1,000, so this is the perfect solution for me. Honestly, when I walk into my closet, I want it to be an experience like I'm walking into a store, so I'm happy with how it has come together so far, but there are still so many details to share with you all, so like this if you want to see part four. I'm pretty disappointed because I hit a few roadblocks today, but I'm going to come up with a solution and share it with you guys soon, so stay tuned. I got asked this question a lot on my last closet transformation video, where the heck is this girl keeping all of her clothes? So that's exactly what I'm going to share with you. I wanted to DIY my own industrial clothing rods, so I took my dad over to Lowe's. We went to the PVC pipe section, which is in the plumbing area. They're really inexpensive and fairly easy to do. You just need to make sure you have a lot of support on your wall. And we did decide to spray paint them gold. This is the best spray paint I have ever used. I swear by it. It creates the most beautiful finish. Once we got them all spray painted, it was time to hook them together. A lot of the parts screw onto each other. To be honest, you can just YouTube how to do this. That's exactly what I did. This is how it turned out. I love the look, but I am going to add extra support in the middle and also gluing the pipes together I think will help a lot to make sure everything is secure since clothes can be really heavy. I also got some new velvet hangers, which are really pretty. They're white and I think they're going to look great with all my clothes. Follow me for more ideas. Fall cleaning part. I don't even know anymore. The closet. Your discretion advised. Hey, yeah! <laughs> this is horrible! <laughs> but it's fixable! <laughs> First, I'm gonna start by taking everything out of the closet. I cleared my office space, so everything is temporarily going here on the floor. I'm starting with the floor first. Sorry if you see anything embarrassing. Everybody has chonies, okay? This will be load number five. Floor's done. Now I have to take out all of this stuff. But first, I'm gonna do a load of laundry. I use a fourth of a cup of detergent and put it into this little compartment. Next, I use the blue downy and put it into here. Cheers. I don't even know why I said that. Next, I use these scent booster beads and I sprinkle them all over. Laundry booster. I know it's a lot, but this is how I get my clothes to smell so good. And lastly, some laundry sanitizer. I wish I had one of those fancy washing dryers, the ones with like the touch screen, but this will do. This is great. This does the job. Back to the closet. I'm gonna start with the top section. <laughs> I am over it. Period. This shelf is now cleared. There we go. I knew this was gonna take a while. I'll be back. Fall cleaning my closet part two. 
Okay, well, let's continue taking everything out of here, starting from up there. Got my stool because I'm short. What lotion do you guys use? Because I'm always ashy no matter what I do. Yeet. <gasps> A unicorn costume. making so much progress just kidding i'm literally moving the mess to a different room this was my prom dress i use it as a scarf now this closet is never ending i didn't know where to put the hanger so i'm just putting them in this bucket how do i even approach this let's see this is what i have so far i put all the shoes in this box i'm gonna try and separate the linens in one spot wow now i just have to vacuum I just have to sort everything. I'm going to make a donate, trash, and keep pile. Uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Day three of cleaning out my closet. I started sorting everything out. This is my keep pile, and then this is the donate pile in this area. I'm going to try and fit all the donate items in this bucket. I'm starting to see the floor. I'm going to drag this out of the way. I'm sorting out the clothes and making neat piles. This is before. What in the world? And after. After two days. These are the clothes that make me happy and that fit. And those clothes, I got some to say to you. Goodbye forever. Every day I see these clothes, I just feel pressured in being something I'm just currently not. That pressure makes me want to explode. So I turn to food to escape from that feeling. I obviously don't fit those clothes. And I keep telling myself I'm going to lose the weight so I can be able to fit them one day. And I don't. And it's a cycle I just can't break. Hopefully rehoming my skinny clothes will steer my mind in the right direction to loving myself for who I am now. I think this is the first time i've ever opened up wow now i'm gonna put this together yikes this is the last one so heavy i'm excited for this ready but you i'm putting in these really cute gray storage bins and i got ones that are half the size to fit on top all that's left to do is get the rest of the bins fill the closet and we are going to be done see you tomorrow fall deep cleaning my closet day four since i don't have an actual linen closet i use these shelves i bought this first basket to hold my duvets these two baskets will hold my pillowcases and my fitted sheets. I don't have time for flat sheets, so they haven't got a spot. This gray basket is going to hold my iron, and it has a lid so you won't be able to see it. Yeah. On the same shelf, I'm putting cotton rounds and cotton swabs. I'm also putting makeup wipes here. Literally no point to the shelf. It just looks cute. I rolled up some washcloths and put them in this basket. The next shelves hold my towels. Also, don't be fooled. I bought these towels for three bucks each in hopes you would get inspired by this video. Those are what my towels actually look like. This basket, yay, that used to have a liner in it, will hold my toilet paper. Yay, we love Label them. For the labels, I just tied them to the top of the basket. Wow! The last part of the series will be uploaded tonight. No excuses. I'll see you in a sec. Deep cleaning my closet, part five. I'm finally almost done. I got two more of the half-sized bins to finish lining the shelf. Like that. Wow. These bins are going on the top shelf. A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah. Ended up doing three on each side. Now I'm going to start hanging my clothes. I'm using all black hangers. There we go. I decided to color coordinate this time. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but you know, I'm just gonna enjoy the moment. I'm evening out the space between the hangers because I don't know, it just looks better. For the shoes, I'm using the same rack. Out of all of these shoes, these are the only ones I'm keeping. Now I'm just adding in this rug, a random plant. On this cube organizer, I'm adding a DIY decoration I made for winter and a candle I'm never gonna light. And that's it. Wow. I'm probably sleeping in here tonight. If you guys want to see what's in my bins and how I organize them, I'm uploading a full closet tour to my YouTube channel this week. Make sure you subscribe. We're trying to hit 50k, so are we going to be able to make it? Question mark. Subscribe, link, and bye. I don't even want to stop recording. Hello, guys. This is my closet. It's so great. I love it. I'm sleeping right here. I need, like, a carpet stuff.